welcome. I'm back now. It's been a long time, six months in fact, but um, I went to Texas and now I've come back. I'm in the same house, but in a different room. See, my surroundings have changed, but the important things are still there, like the books, the books and some of my little collections, <laughs> funny little things. Um, so I just finished working on a movie and now I'm going to be applying to graduate school and in my application, um, I'm going to be making some, some models, some scale models, almost like dollhouse models. And to do this, I'm going to be needing to make some things, also buy some things. And I have an order from, from eBay that came recently, uh, filled with little doodads. And I was thinking that the ASMR community, being much like cats, would love to see me open this box. Um, well, the box is already open, but there's a lot of things inside, and uh, so I think we can get started. I have a pair of scissors. Um, I don't know where I got them from. They have someone else's name on them. I'm a horrible pen thief, but I, I don't think I've stolen scissors before. Not from the store. But someone gives me a pen and then I just, I just <laughs> take it home with me. Don't, I'm sure you've done it too. It's a, sort of a national, national crisis, you know. So, um, so let's begin. So this is the main... It's kind of beautiful. It's like a winter green wonderland. It's beautiful seafoam green. Sparkling plastic. What's this? Let's start with this. Town Square. Right in your dollhouse with authentic scale, reproduction lamps, and fixture. So this is sort of an old style. An old style gas lamp. What I'm planning to do is create kind of an abandoned, an abandoned Edwardian home with plants coming in. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna age it. And I'm very curious about learning about, about, um, electricity and learning how to wire this up. I recently fixed my, using, using online advice, I fixed my own MagSafe adapter for my Mac and that was a major achievement. So um, if you have any advice on learning more about electrical wiring for amateurs, please post it. And I guess the thing to do would be to cut it. Town Square. So cute. <laughs> Look at even has a little plug in. treasure deep. What will we find? Oh my goodness. Oh. Yes. We come to the frame. Um, basically I'm planning to do some of my own drawings and fill the frames with them. It's raining a lot outside. Lots of rain and cars are going by so I might hear those. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's, I can't tell if it's wood or ceramic or plaster. It's beautiful though. 
all the drawing inside. So I get to show them what I can do with my art skills. This is metal. It's much larger than I expected, so I'm a little disappointed. It's golden. It doesn't look golden, but it is. And now, these are very pretty. These are tiny little glasses. So if you lived in the old times and needed to put your absinthe somewhere. Not a toy, it says, for those under 14. Those over 14. Not a toy, not for those under 14. So I'm not going to open this now, but you'll see this is a tiny little, just a little bottle. It's a good, <laughs> some illicit drug or whatever, they, those tinctures they used to have that were like mostly, mostly morphine. Yeah, that's where you put it. Brightdelights.net. I'm very delighted with my package. And this one. Oh, this is very pretty. It's very blue, and it has a stopper right there. Actually, I really want to see what this is like. I put the stopper in. So. Put it on. Oh, it doesn't really stop. Okay, so a little squeak. Put it back in. Right now. I think oh, I've got a wooden frame. This one's way too big. And is there anything else? Oh, what's this? I think this is part of my my bulb. I'm gonna need this. It's a replacement bulb, I think. Let's just keep those together and keep them safe. Ooh. Running a dollhouse is <laughs> it's a very tricky business. So there's three on it for some reason. Again, it's gold. Okay, let me see. I'm kind of obsessed with gold. Do you think it's tacky? I don't. I've always loved it. I've always wanted my... I always wanted to be tawny. I think it's because I'm a Leo. <laughs> not my personality. I don't... I'm not really sure about that, but... but the golden lion. There it is. It's very pretty. Styrofoam, yeah. Styrofoam is great for, for our purposes, but it's kind of a waste. We will have to send someone something. This is my newest book. <sighs> the Handbook of Model Making for Set Designers. It smells new, very new. There's lots of pictures in here and ideas of how to make things. I'm supposed to make it all from scratch, so basically I'm cheating by buying anything at all, but um, I'd rather put my effort into the artwork than into the frames. I think that's that's reasonable. 
And one more thing I like to do in my collections is um, if you go to the Strand Bookstore, you can get these. Yes, I live in New York. If you go to the Strand Bookstore in Manhattan, got these Christie's books, and they're basically catalogs with lots and lots of pictures in them. So, um, so be this. So um, these are amazing for collages. So another one of my set designs is going to be something a little more, a little more experimental. So it's going to be a mixture of space age imagery and old timey furniture, and um, so it's going to it's going to involve a lot of collages and strange images and beasties and <laughs> things that go bump in the night. Um, I love this cover. <laughs> Some of these ASMR artists are so good at this. I think it's really a skill that playing with books. So if you're if you're one of them, want to give me some tips? <laughs> Maybe there's something on Ask.com. I don't know Yahoo Answers. How to effectively drum a book? Fingernail. Unfortunately, none of them are too crinkly. Yeah, I've got a lot of these. Somehow, I love National Geographic, so I want to incorporate some natural images, some owls. Who doesn't love owls? I saw a YouTube video of this, this woman, I think she was from Sri Lanka, and she had a pet owl, and I was so jealous. I think they the really cute ones. I mean, they're they're vicious, kind of. I guess, I guess to the average person they're not that cute, but to me I find that absolutely adorable. Oh, owl chicks, they look very angry. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so Mother's Day is coming up. And, um, so I ordered something on eBay while I was doing all of my other eBay shopping for my mother. Um, in my family we love parrots. We love parrots because they're basically kind of raptors. They have a lot of opinions. You know, they're, they're cuddly but also ferocious. Kind of like, kind of like those owls you're looking at. So I got her thing is, her apartment is just filled with stuff, so I can't give her too much. Um, she hates having too much stuff, so something very small. Just a little. A green parrot. Green parrot in the pack. There we go. It's hard to make out. See? See if you can get it. There's a little face. Which he would perch on my finger. Much less likely to bite. So cute. This is an Amazon yellow headed parrot. Pedro. Good. I'll put him back in his box. And I have to think, I was thinking just the hundreds of parrots. I mean, some people you can't shop for. <laughs> See my smart enough for this. I already opened it, but close it up again. Maybe this time. Do you think they could do ASMR if monkeys trying to get things open? <laughs> That might be an idea. Oh, there we go. This is turning into a major show and tell. That's all right. <laughs> Next time is going to be story time. All the parrots you could imagine. There we go. It's 
from 1900. Um, yeah, I'm going to start recording some, some stories, just some straight up, not, my, not even mine, not original. Straight up story time. So hopefully the stories will bore you and you'll fall asleep. That's always the hope of this kind of thing. Where did this come from? from Stephen Hall. So thank you from Iowa City. Thank you, Stephen, for sending me this parrot. And last but not least, I forgot about these. These are fun. Everybody loves some new brushes. Now these are going to be to apply things, to add washes, make things look a little bit older. <laughs> look. <laughs> Whoops. That's not really necessary. It's really raining here. There's a flood. Send someone to come rescue me. Oh, I can't glue it down. Break one of these, your fault. Oh. I'm doing it for you. Let's see. Oh. No. No. There we go. Let's get them all. They like new brushes. They're so soft. I hope these are enough. Running little speckles and dots. Help, I hope, I hope. I wonder what kind of wood this is. Hmm, they're beautiful. They're made for acrylic. <sighs> oh, that was show and tell today. Um, basically showing you what I'm going to be doing for the next month. Um, but I am planning to make more videos. If you have any requests, let me know. Um, if you want to help me get a new microphone, I am. I have a link that you can go to. I think it's GoFundMe, yeah, GoFundMe. But you don't have to, just a suggestion. Um, and hopefully I'll be getting a new computer then, soon so I can edit videos and make them a little less. <laughs> I like the lo-fi quality um, for the video, but I definitely need something stronger and more. Um, something where you can catch more of the voice through the microphone. <laughs> Um, I'd like to be able to edit the audio and just make more with it. Even though uh, the camera does have a certain problems, like you can see how grainy it is. But uh, we've gotten this far. Yeah. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, anyway. It's good to... <laughs> good to come home, so I um, wish you all a good, safe, and happy night. Right. Good night. <laughs>